here we are um, with newer com this is the more detailed video so as I said I've done a video on this previously when I walked all along here I think it was um, but I'm gonna follow my traces um, yeah here I was so that's um, Newark Northgate station I walked out of the station here and keypad mapper puts these blocks in so I just like to tidy them up make them nice and straight uh, try and figure out where the positions were uh, yeah see they've gone a bit here so that must have been seven and six I think we can look at the garden fences as well to check I've got them lined up so that's probably five six I do a six I cause I like to put house number assumed none displayed some extra information um, probably not wrong in this case eight there nine there this must have been walking a bit oddly 12 13 14 um, possibly miss a couple up here but that's nice and straight I can then select these all and add in ah I'm not sure because there's 101B and then 1 they might actually part, be part of Higgins Close um, but I can put in for these other street is Lincoln Street, I'm sure of that. Alright, and the road's there. Um, yeah, there's two GPS traces because there's keypad mapper draws records the line and also um, OSM and I have recording because it's a bit more accurate. I did walk around that corner twice just to add some um the standard video that makes these a bit more interesting <laughs> And then having done these, I can use letter B and click just to throw in some buildings. That's got an extension with a jaunty angle. I'm going for doing these buildings roughly. Um, if someone locally wanted to spend the time to um, put them in more accurately than they could do. Yeah, I think this improves the map with enough detail and enough showing that we can have buildings. Um, we don't need to, well, I don't need to add all these extensions. These buildings could actually all done, be done by aerial imagery 
by anyone who wants to help out in Newark. Um, I can always come back later and add the uh, the house numbers. Oh, that's gone a bit wrong. Uh, lane and yeah and then what else did I spot there although the center of the town's mapped it is important to do these side streets and go different ways I found a whole church that's not on open street map so I'll add that and continue walking so we're gonna put in the building here Oh, hang on, that's not it. It's this one here. Got that right? Yeah. I think it's like that because that's actually flat. Um, so, name equals North End Methodist Church. Um, amenity is place of worship. Religion is Christian. You'll know from my um, other video about mapping places of worship. We do this out the tags we do and we put in the denomination although that's clear from the name of it those common tags allow us to um to filter if someone only wants to find local methodist churches or do some stats on how many they are or even just check if they're all mapped if they've got a list of the churches and um yeah, and then it's continuing with more house numbers. Doing this spot of mapping between the two Newark stations, um, I'm back to that exciting dynamic of, oh, I'll get distracted, will I uh, meet my train? So I plan to do that bit of Riverside Walk that I didn't do last time um, when I was a lot younger, or look younger, um, 
So there's this road that I think probably goes near the river. I thought it was a substantial road, but um, that's a tiny squeeze I've gone through. And then I'm wondering, is it a dead end? Will this just add time? Um, will I want to film about it and that adds time? Um, so get here, it does lead the way. I was going around the corner, but there's a tiny little gap in the hedge. You could miss that. It's not even on Open Street Map, so how would you know it's it? there so um i'm gonna sneak through here um it's actually quite a nice little path it's uh, a bit dark in the overgrown but it looks like it's heading to the river which is the right way for the station so i'll take some photos and make sure i get this mapped where it's path and where it turns back into road and um then i can add it to open street map for other people to find different and nicer routes to um to the station and to the river. This is a lovely river walk. No board games, or did it say a board games? No, um, it's no longer the board game cafe which I wanted to pop into. Uh, its name is Dumbo Lounge. Um, and I just wandered around. Oh, I came here because. Um, Downloaded a fair bit of this, so now I walked around there. Basically, I had a lot of time to get to the to change trains, um, even more than normal. Um, there was a note here that um, said there's a Marks and Spencer's so that's not open, uh, and I went, and that looks like it was a Marks and Spencer's. It's not open, so I'm not going to map it. Um, yeah, shops closed. We don't map what's not there. Um, if it had been on the map, I would take it off or mark it as disused, but not going to add it just for that. Um, but yeah, other shops that were disused. Here's a nice little find. Sorry about the shop alarm, but... Um... A closed shop, they've got a nice big map of Newark with some watercolour. Uh, quite nice, I could even map it as a map. Um, so people can find it while they're using a map. I'm being really treated to uh, maps in Newark. Um, here's a 3D model of Newark. And it's got braille around the edges. This is exciting. So many maps. Thank you, Newark. Um. Oh, yes, yeah, so... Haven't mapped that shop, but um, let's see if I go to the wiki and search map it to Dagama Tourism. So with this 3D one, I could go Tourism Information, Information Map. Um, Right. Map size is city. Um, uh, so it's not got a top topological map. I would like to know how to map that it's a 3D model. Aha. Let's 
say some people have said tactile model and I can also say uh, braille is Yes, it did have some braille. It's also got embossed letters equals yes. Um, and I don't know all the details about it, but there we go. Um, yeah. So I could also go back, where was this one? This one that I was going to map. Tourism information, information map, map size, city, night, um, large artistic map in window of a disused shop. So it might not stay there forever. I did quite a bit of detailed mapping, but I did half an hour, got to Newark Castle with half an hour to spare, enough time to get some sandwiches and a drink before catching my train when it arrives. <laughs>